Hey, welcome to episode five of Flavorful Reviews. Who? It's been a whole week, you guys. A month. Whole month, you guys. Did you mean like a <laughs> week since the last one? <laughs> yeah, a whole week since the last. You know, one. time isn't linear, as we'll find out. Oh, later then on, later. Oh. That's a good save. Good oh. save. Oh. I'm not stupid. Foreshadowing. <laughs> oh. Very All right. Boating. This week's pretty good. Pretty good week. First up, we it? got uh, Captain America. Written by uh, Ed Brubaker, Brubaker and Steve, drawn by Steve McNiven. Ed Brubaker's McNiven. been doing Captain America for a while now, I hear. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. Is his other stuff really good? you like his other stuff? I, I, I'm i not going to lie. I haven't read a lot of his other stuff. Or at <laughs> least per, uh, pertaining to Captain America. So, eh, right, right. That's cool. Missed the train cool. on that one. Now, what I really like about this book is it, it, like, it takes place in modern times, but it almost feels like it could take place... In like the sixties or something, or like Cold War era. Yeah, I don't know if anyone else got that feeling. Like it almost felt like Inglorious Bastards meets uh, Captain America. Didn't quite know. get that. No, just me. I think I can sort of understand that. Where um, it still takes place in a different time, yet it has aesthetics. Exactly. Of yeah, of kind of like old world kind of stuff. I don't know. Read it. Let us know what you think in the comments. See if I'm crazy or not. I could be Think crazy. You Nobody got scalped, so I couldn't. <laughs> <be>. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So, what would you guys think of the art? Uh, the art is pretty nice. It's done. By, yeah, Steve McNiven, who did the Nemesis stuff. So I mean, he's been used to this sensational <laughs> type. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Nemesis, like Captain America gets attacked by like <laughs> several Nemesis. Yeah. Is that plural? Nemesis. Nemesis. That right. And a few flashbacks yeah. of it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like, yeah. what are they? The Hydra, the Hydra team, Hydra team, and the like. At first, I thought they were all like kick ass. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, <laughs> but they they're pretty got much that. Shields and Nemesis. Yeah, it was so I weird. Did. I was like, whoa, this is blowing my mind. But the story is kind of kind of yeah. weak right now. It's kind of soft. Like, it, it mainly focuses around the, the this funeral. villain coming back from 1944. And uh, he has a vendetta against Captain America because he stole his girl. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome because he, like, makes out with her. And then she's like, no, I can't be with you. And then she leaves and then makes out with Captain America right she's after. Like, you know, this isn't professional like, yeah, work. That's like awesome. Make it with Cap. <laughs> and as soon as yeah. he's done making out with the first person, the guy's like, oh, what? I'm not Captain America enough for you? No, no. This is, don't make this about that, man. <laughs> don't make it about And Captain two America. seconds later, he's, like, staring from the building, Vendetta. watching yeah. her Vendetta. make out with Captain America. <laughs> yeah, she's, like, on her knees, like, whoa. <laughs> whoa, man. <laughs> what? Hey, okay, hey. she gives him, like, a kiss on Captain the cheek. Captain America's a very charismatic guy. He can, he can get, have, like, mind control. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> sure he does. I don't know. He's the guy saw him up there. I know what he wanted. He's the human torch. Yeah. <laughs> He's the Human Torch. Does what he wants. Yeah. For Human Torch, what? Yeah, He's the Captain America the movie. movie. Yeah. Oh. You guys gonna see that movie? Let's know if you're gonna see that movie. We oh. might. Maybe. I think I will. I like Rick Captain America, especially after Earth X. That was mm, yeah, movie. Earth X. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's not, X. This is distracting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> get back into the action. All right. Story. So, would you guys recommend this book? I don't know. The ending where a lot of comics they try to have a hook at the end, which sort of. Makes you want to yeah. care about it and like Didn't at least find out what happens in the next one. Didn't care. And yeah, not really. Like Ca- Cobra Commander shows up and like, the best know? part of it had nothing to do with the story where we're showing Captain America fighting like a Nazi superhero and then you <laughs> see Red Skull in the background like <laughs> with his hands thrown yeah. up in the air. Yeah, I was like, good. if you put more than that in here, I will <laughs> more Red Skull <laughs> yes, in the background, shaking his fist. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. That's what you need. I'm in. Essentially, villains from Captain America's past come in and. That's about it. Yeah, stuff up. It's pretty it's kind standard. Kind of stuff that's happened before. It's, it's pretty standard. Really you like can pick up the alternate cover with the movie poster on it. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't like the way Captain America looks in this movie. You don't like the suit? No. Is it too pleathery? For yeah, you? it's too. It's too much. Yeah. Should too we much. talk about the shield thing? Or yeah, yeah. <laughs> Captain America has a shield on him, no Hold matter on. what he's doing, and he doesn't look like a, a, a hunchback a freak. freak. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, what? And then there's an explosion, his clothes fall off, he's yeah, wearing the shield. Yeah. You see his shield yeah. behind him. Yeah. Where you couldn't see before because he's wearing a coat, yet you would imagine his shield would sort of bulge out a little bit. I agree. Uh, his like back is just so broad and defined. <laughs> all he does is lat pull downs all day long, so <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> wow. Well, Anyways. Cool. All right, so if you're into Captain America, pick it up. If not, you'll enjoy it. You can, you can, you can Whole skip it. Whole kooky cast of characters are still there. Yeah. <laughs> you enjoy. Um, next up, we have X-Men Schism, 
uh, written by Jason Aaron yeah. and drum penciled by Carlos Pacheco. And this one, this one's wicked. It comes right off of um, Second Coming, which is really exciting because Hope's in it. And uh, although she doesn't really play much of a part no. so far, not yet. I can't. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, that's kind of how. It works. Well, she's like what, like twelve, man? Come on, uh, <laughs> not eye candy. Uh, I, well, how do I get out of this? <laughs> Is she twelve? Do a barrel. Roll. She doesn't. I don't know. Look she looked young. I don't know. Whatever. She looks sixteen. Anyways, so out of all the Wolverine books we've been reviewing, because we, we've reviewed like seven hundred in a row, <laughs> it's disgusting. Um, this is probably the best Wolverine I yes. thought. Because he was, he was like real, you know. He's tired. He didn't want to do anything. Like, I don't care he, about the Avengers. Yeah. <laughs> Can I just he, sleep? For the very first scene is him like crawling into his bed, complaining that he's just sick and tired of like X Force and doing pretty much being on several teams yeah, at once. Exactly. Which I think reflects a lot of what fans sort of are getting a little tired of Wolverine everywhere. Yeah, I agree. But this is like the best representation of Wolverine we've seen so far because mm. it's very traditional the way mm-hmm. he's drawn. He's just a little stout guy that can beat the crap out of yeah. anybody. And you see him and Cyclops' interaction. Yeah. Really cool. You feel like he's actually grown a bit Yeah, from his That's previous cool. incarnations. where he, Or even today's standards where he's just running around going berserker on <laughs> people. Yeah. Sometimes saying lone wolf badass things. So the basic premise of this is uh, Cyclops goes to an arms control convention to talk about de-arming the Sentinels. Yeah. And... Um, which is, they show up in their costumes, which yeah. I always thought is so weird. It's like, if you want yeah. to take it seriously, and you're showing Probably up in not. costumes, it's like, wear a suit or something. And like, you know don't they, I mean? like, do they really need secret identities yeah, like, anymore? Like, Especially yeah. Wolverine. Know, yeah. Who cares? I don't know, maybe it's just like a unity thing. They want to stand up for all the mutants. and But it, it just looks I know. silly. I, but they I look like, threatening. Yeah, yeah like, especially Wolverine. I mean, <laughs> even really? even if he was just wearing, like, sweet jorts and, like, a t-shirt, he's still <laughs> jorts. threatening as hell. Jorts is, is important. I say it's the hair. Yeah. <laughs> and the sideburns, the sweet chops he's got. That little mm-hmm. lion's mane he's got going on. But yeah, Good getting job. back to the story. Mm. Trying to de-arm the Sentinels and, uh, what's his name, Quentin Quire? Quiffer? Yeah, the Omega Child. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kid, Omega Kid, o- Kid Omega. Comes and basically brainwashes everybody uh, simultaneously at the arms convention. And they're just saying like their deepest, darkest secrets. Yeah, one guy's like, like, I beat my kids. And, and I, I like, like it. <laughs> I hate all minorities. I'm like, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, geez, whoa. UN. <laughs> You're getting that. real here. Whoa. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, and then um, so then it all turns out it was like someone plotted this whole thing. Yeah, it was like a little child. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah, I will admit, it was his introduction in this that was book badass. pretty badass. He just fucking shoots his father. Yeah, he, he takes control over his father's company. He'll kill Gore Inc. or something, and then he's flying away in a flying car. Yeah, and uh, shoots him, and he leaves <laughs> him for dead in like a mountain. It's pass. Amazing. I was like, yes, that's awesome. And then they get back to his uh, mansion, wherever, and there's like a secret society waiting. Yeah, for the, him. the Hellfire Club. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. I was surprised at that because, like, all of his actions so far seem pretty geared towards being anti mutant. Yeah. I'm pretty sure the Hellfire Club was it is founded by mutants. Yeah. yeah, so I'm interested in seeing how that plays out. I'm excited. I didn't okay. like how like cliche Illuminati they looked like. I yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, <laughs> they all like ominous hoods. That was shit. like really campy. Oh, black garb, really. We're gonna yeah. Um, some color in there. One thing I enjoyed, I just had it here. Oh, the Sentinels! I, re- I don't. For some reason, I really like Sentinels. Yeah, I don't know. It's they just—it just, it just reminds me of the of the '90s cartoon. Oh, uh, nice. and yeah. it just—it just because just, that was like mainly Sentinels. Like the they were just put our everything. nostalgia <laughs> glasses on. Oh, the '90s cartoon was <laughs> so great. <laughs> oh. Well, let's not go crazy. Well, here. I did really like the nice. I character. agree. Oh, we I all agree. grew. It was oh, very man. accessible. Like it took like a lot of the basic stories from the X Men universe and made them pretty accessible to everybody. It's it was awesome. Yeah. Out of all the sort of Marvel cartoons, it's one of the best. Mm-hmm. Well, we're not reviewing that today. Yeah. So sorry. Would you guys say pick it up? Definitely. Don't pick it up. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm pretty too. much ready to go back and buy all the trades and go buy them. So War Psych Complex. Yeah, there you go. If you're interested in the X Men, yeah, you definitely. This is yeah, gonna be. I agree. And they they, te- they tease at the end that there's going to be a split in the team, so then you can see yeah. that. What the word schism? Yeah. Yeah. Nah, man. I yeah. thought it was a tool reference. I thought they're big. <laughs> <laughs> no, I schism was a very good song. Pieces, <laughs> this this is American Idol. Oh, okay, sorry. Now finally we come to our this is a pretty hyped up one. Yeah, Rob at Stadium was saying that this book's going to be worth money later. I don't know. Maybe. I can see it. 
If Chew Number One could make six. That's right. The Red Wing. So this is written by uh, Jonathan Hickman. Mm -hmm. Pretty big name. And drawn by uh, Nick Patera. I don't know. What do you guys think? I really like it. I mean, go ahead. I was just going to say, I haven't really read a lot of comics and stuff that have dealt with, I guess, just like a story based around time travel. And I'm really interested to see where it is. Because I'm a huge Doctor Who fan. And that's all loopy, in and out time travel. And I love that kind of aspect of... I agree. I don't know. Like I'm just guys. really loving this world. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's interesting because it, it, they're fighting a battle through time. Yeah. And it's not like, you know, there's single battles in one time period. It's almost like through all of time. Yeah. You don't have stealth battle. stuff on your ship. You just travel through time to get the <laughs> yeah. certain points to... It's pretty crazy. Knock off your enemy. And the actual, like, delving into, like, how all this time aspect works... And how it applies to this war and everything. It just, it seems really believable, and I like that a lot. And it's just, mm-hmm. it just looks awesome. I mean, literally, there'll be like just dogfights with these alien spaceships, and then they're like going through like the prehistoric era, and then like they're in the middle of Greece just shooting <laughs> up. It's, it's yeah. great. Um, so, what do you guys think of the art? I personally thought the art was a little meh. The, the people don't look too good, yeah. but all the details in the ship and the world true, and some of the true. detail, like there's a oh. big kind of takeaway shot where they show the Earth in this thing called the Ring yeah. where the, so I guess the like resistance is based on like of. Halo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I guess. The actual concept designs applied here uh, feel really genuine, and yeah. I love them a lot. Like I've already said, I love this world so far. Well, we'll the see. characters, though... Yeah, they Sometimes some of them they, look the same, and you're like, who is talking right now? The two yeah. main characters particularly particularly they kind of fluctuate in instances where they actually look really similar to each other and it's mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. not very consistent yeah and uh, like with the problem with time travel is it can get really confusing like i don't know if you read some cable you're just like what is yeah. happening like cable and bishop you're like i don't understand but uh so hopefully this book can not fall into that trap so far i don't know the ending i was like what's happening i didn't quite understand the ending so maybe I'm a little worried that it's going to fall into the trap. Like the way they ended it is there's a sideways universe. Yeah. Like, and right. if you've watched and if you watch <laughs> Lost, <laughs> that had a oh, sideways no. universe. And, and that show did not end that great. Yeah, son of a bitch. So that has me a little bit nervous because time travel can get very confusing, overwhelming when you're trying to write it about it. Mm-hmm. So hopefully this can do a good job of it because I'm really excited to see where it goes. I thought the ending was just sort of... I think that was the one part I didn't like about this yeah. book. It was a little, like, cliched, you know. Whenever yeah. there's something about somebody being lost in time, <laughs> there's always going to be a scene where there's a bunch of tribal men yeah, pointing like spears at them, and they're like, oh, no, how do I get out of this one? <laughs> when <laughs> am I? <laughs> <laughs> I but, just um, hope this doesn't take up the majority of the story, because if yeah. it does, I'm going to be bored. So. Yeah, because it was kind of cliche. It's like, you know what, I'm probably only like 100 or 50 yeah, years out, so yeah. I'll just jump in uh, time streams. <laughs> Let's walk through the forest. I can probably find people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my oh, shit. Oops. So, would you guys recommend this? Definitely. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Cool. Cool. Um, this book really reminded me of the guy who draws the bear stories, George Todorovsky. Um, so, if you guys like that stuff, check him out. Not gonna lie, I didn't see that at all. No, you yeah. check it out. His heavy metal stuff. It looks. It looks almost exactly like this, except the faces are a hundred times better. So, <laughs> I mean, but yeah, no, check it out. Maybe we'll put a link in. You guys can check it out. Because that stuff's really good. So really would fun. we recommend what? If you're not Red easily Wing? offended. <laughs> yeah. uh, I would re- I would recommend it if you're into like sci-fi and stuff. It shows a lot of promise. It does. I, that's it all I'm going to say. So, Rob, maybe you're right. We'll see. We'll find maybe out. Maybe you're right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. So um, this week's pretty good. Yeah. Next week, yeah. hopefully, it will be... Uh, I can definitely recommend two out of three of those books. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree. I agree. All right, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. It looks like we're done here. See you guys next week. Follow us on Facebook, on the Twitter. Check out CM Comics. Ooh, as always. And also check out our YouTube page because we have a beautiful dramatic reading. Yeah. The one we mentioned from last week. Vengeance. Last week. And he's really mm. good. I it's enjoy it. It's something. something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So on three. Three, two, one. Flavorful sauce.